Hey everybody, Keith Campbell here with KeithAndSheila.com, MilitaryCityRealtors.com, and I'm over at a house uh, in Cibolo and Red River Ranch that uh, we helped a client purchase, and it's about 50% constructed, so I'm taking some video for her, and I want to share it with y'all of what I look for as a realtor and as a professional home inspector, as a contractor. So let's take a look. All structures, these homes are what we called engineered. So all the walls and uh, the trusses up here and rafter systems are all pre-built off-site and then brought in, trucked in, and then put in place, which is why they can build these houses so fast. Um, so I'm looking at anchor bolts. These guys right here should be one every four foot, which there is. That one's missing a nut. There's another one down there with a nut. I'm looking at how they penetrated the wall studs, make sure they don't make the holes too big. Here we have a ground wire that's part of the electrical system. Here's our refrigerant lines coming in. They did a nice job of masticking that. They put a nail plate there to protect it when they drywall it. Got hurricane ties up there. This is a water heater platform using PEX plumbing, water softener being plumbed in right there. These guys over here are called baffles. So when they drywall the ceilings in and they insulate up there with blown insulation, you don't want that insulation going over the soffit and blocking the air vent that's coming from the outside through the soffit into the attic and then blowing the hot air up through the roof vents. Looking at the electrical wall studs, they're doing a nice job of sealing the house, rough end of the electrical. Here's a laundry room. Um, not a huge fan of dryer vents that have this many turns in them because every time you turn 90 degrees, you have to take five feet off the 25 foot maximum that you can go. So they're they're right on the on the border there. There's your washing machine. Uh, Rough connections, vent pipe clean out there. Windows, want to check the seal there, make sure they're foam sealing those, which they are with a low expansion foam. Because if you're using a high expansion foam, you can actually warp the window a little bit and it won't ever set right. These are vinyl clad, double low E, double pane. Here we have a bathroom. So they have set the tub, and what they're doing now is a, is a hydrostatic test to make sure that the plumbing is holding and not leaking under the foundation somewhere. Here's a toilet closet for the master. You can see that toilet flange right there. Let's walk on in here. Here's going to be your double vanities. You see a hot and a cold on two sides, two drain pipes. There's our... Our baffles again, nail plates, they tuck that insulation in there nice. See how they, where they're, you can get air through there, they've sealed that off on these double stud plates as well. Got the double top plate, single sole plate or, or seal plate, whatever you want to call it. Stand up shower. <clears throat> I like seeing the, the hard black uh, nipple there. Sometimes they'll use a plastic one right here, and those have a tendency to break, and then you got water running down your wall until you can get the water turned off. So here, again, they're doing a hydrostatic. Walk-in closet. Check that ductwork. It is R8. So I'm looking for things like this, this mastic at this penetration. They're bringing fresh air in from the outside of the house because all this foam you see and how well this house is going to be insulated, you get carbon monoxide poison if you don't bring some fresh air in from the outside. There, you see that exhaust vent. You can see where they use mastic up there as it penetrates the roof. They also use mastic right here where it's actually the hose is connected to the exhaust fan housing. Very nice stuff. Look, DR Horton builds a lot of houses. I've inspected hundreds of them over my career and uh, I find problems, but I've I found problems in a $4 million house, so that that shouldn't be a negative on DR Horton. It's just the nature of building the house. 
if you have a lot of subs in here doing a lot of different things and you can't control it all. So here we have a back porch looking out. They're going to set us some concrete stairs right here, which is nice instead of wood. Love that. There's a heritage oak over there in Cibolo. Here we got cement fiberboard, hardy board. I'm not a big fan of it, quite honestly. It's it's good material. I prefer um, smart siding. It's not as uh, doesn't crack as easy when you're nailing it, and it's just it's lighter. You can get it in longer sheets, so <clears throat> you use have less seams, every fewer butt joints. So here we have an island kitchen. Check the rough plumbing on that. Here we have another clean out with a vent pipe. We have our rough plumbing, rough electrical. This is going to be an island there. So far, it looks pretty good. I've seen a few little minor things, but uh, they'll tighten those up before they drywall because I'll make sure they do. There again, some more nail plates. Water supply line here. I love how they insulated that in the wall. I have seen a lot of builders, they don't insulate it, cover it up with drywall, and then you get that hot cold, creates condensation, drops down, starts rotting out the seal plate. You notice on the seal plates, the bottom board there, they're green. That means they're moisture resistant. Blue or green means moisture resistant. Okay, I think that's gonna wrap, wrap it up, up for, for us. today. Hope you have a blessed day. If we can answer any questions, be of service. I apologize. Have a shaved day. Hope you have a blessed day and take care.